you have to realize everything that's happening is from Allah. You know, you don't get depressed. People, if you forget about Allah, you end up getting depressed. You think things are black and they're gloomy. And do No, we don't believe this. We believe in happy endings. The root of Western civilization is tragedy. If you look at the major masterpieces of Western literature, they're all tragic. They have horrible endings. Everybody dies. That's not the Muslim view. Our stories in the Quran, they're all good endings. <laughs> If you look in the Quran, there are good endings. People, the good guys, the good people win. No matter how bleak it looks out there, it's dunya. You're in the lowest. Dunya means the lowest place. A dunya. We're on the bottom. There's only up from here. Really, there's only up. This place, wallahi, all of you, I'll give you sincere advice and myself. This place is designed to break your heart. It was designed that way. If you're looking to be happy in the dunya, you're in the wrong place. If Allah gave you a horrible spouse, you can get out of it and He might give you another horrible spouse. Or you don't find a spouse and then you're lonely and you wish you were with your horrible spouse because at least being with him or her, there was somebody to talk to. And then he might make you happy, but you look, how many wealthy people do you know that have a lot of wealth, who have children that are in tribulation, who have sons that are completely wayward, or really, look out there. People are in tribulation. You think you're looking at him because he has a big house, he has nice Mercedes. He, if you were in his shoes, you might say, I want to be back in my old shoes, even though they have holes in them. Because at least I can sleep at night. In his shoes, I, can, I have to take all these pills to go to sleep. Everybody has their tribulations. And it's very rare. People that have happy time, wonderful life, all that. Those people are rare. And they're just, I am an ayatinda. That's all they are. But Ibn Abbas said, Asr al-dunya al-ibtila. Fa'idha an'amakum Allah, fahiya ni'ma ala ala ni'ma. The foundation of dunya is tribulation. So if you're in ni'mah, which is still an ibtila, but it's easier in some ways, and in some ways it's not, because it's easier to forget Allah when things go well. It's much more difficult to forget Allah when things are difficult. And that's why the Sahaba said, la illa shidda. When things are easy, they're always followed by hard times. Whereas when things are hard, they're always followed by easy times. So they prefer to be waiting for the ease than to be waiting for the hardship. Because it's a hadith and it's hasan. Afdalul ibadati intidhar al faraj. The best worship is waiting for the ease from Allah to come when you're in hardship. So if Muslim would just have that perspective, they would realize that if I'm just patient here with all these tribulations, I'm in ibadah. You could just be sitting in your house. And if you're muhtasib with Allah, you're in ibadah. But if you're there complaining and woe is me and everything's horrible and it's doom and gloom and it's all black and it's all dark, Allah will give you more things to complain about. And He'll give you some real things to complain about because there's a hadith, if you complain about small calamities, Allah gives you great calamities. And that's why Ibn Abbas anhu said that in every ni'mah, there are three ni'mah. In every tribulation, there are three blessings. And the first one is that it could be worse than it is. And that's a ni'mah, yushkar alayhi. That it's in your worldly matters and not in your deen. Like if you lose money, is money. But if you lose deen, you lost everything. So that's a ni'mah. If it's, لا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا. I mean, if you think about it, he didn't say, لا تصبنا. Do you see the dua? He didn't say, لا تصبنا يا Allah. Don't give us any calamities. He said, لا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا. Don't give us tribulation in our deen. We're going to get tribulation. And we know that. Because that's the nature of dunya. لِيَبْلُوكُمْ So you're going to get tribulation. 
But don't make it in deen. Make it in dunya. So that's a ni'mah. If you had a, you lost your job, Alhamdulillah, I didn't miss my prayers. Alhamdulillah, I, I didn't lose my iman. Alhamdulillah, there's wudu and a place to pray. Because jobs come and go. But deen, once it's gone, Allahu alam if you'll ever get it back. And then the final one, it's in this world, it's fid dunya, whatever akhira. As long as the musibah is in this world, it's a ni'mah. Because the real musibah is the musibah in the next world. So if you look at that and realize that it's, you're, we're in blessing, wallahi, the whole lot of us. Some may be more than others outwardly, more observable, but the whole ummah is in blessing, wallahi, the whole thing. Palestine, Kashmir, Shishan, everywhere. We're in ni'mah. And you have to see it. You have to see it. Because we have... You know, the people of Kufar, they have no Lord. We have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as long as you have Allah, they can't take anything away from you. Everything you desire exists with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you have Allah, you have everything you desire. If you don't have Allah, nothing you desire will make you happy. Nothing. It'll all in the end bring you misery. Wallahi. And that's the truth. It's not a lie.